Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Are you there, people? Hi, teacher. Hi, Salvador. Hi, teacher. Hi, Juani. Uh, uh, Salvador, I told you where uh, you were on the meeting that you told me. Hi, teacher. Hi, Julia. Hi. I told you were on the um on the meeting that you told me uh, on text messages. Um, say the truth. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> ah, ah, that's that's, es, es, that's the one. Cada, cada mes, porque somos una ferretería, uh -huh. entonces eh, tenemos producto de marcas exclusivas. Eh, en este caso, pues es, se llama Total la marca. Uh -huh. Entonces cada mes sacan nuevos productos, herramientas, todo eso. Entonces uh -huh. tenemos que estar pendiente qué qué innovaciones y podemos traer productos. Ajá. Ah, that's why you have to be innovating. Yes. Hay como 300 personas conectadas en todo el mundo. Ooh. Y están traduciéndolo en seis idiomas. Really? That's awesome. That's great. Yes. But they, they, they translate that or they have extra people to translate? ¿Cómo es people? Perdón, no entendí eso. Uh, ellos traducen o tienen uh, personas adicionales para que puedan traducir. Ellos tienen personas adicionales. Ah, that's great. En vivo es eh, en español y en, y en inglés. Mm, great. Y aparte tienen traductores en francés, si no me equivoco, alemán. Uh -huh. eh, no me acuerdo qué otro, pero. Pero son varios. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really nice then. Yeah, yeah I mean, having different uh, yeah, languages, translation with the different translator with different languages, that's, that's, that's excellent. That's great. Sí, es muy, muy importante eso. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's super, super great. So probably in the future, Salvador, you won't need the translation uh, from Spanish to English. You will take the English, the English uh, <laughs> speech. Porque, porque ponen español y inglés, entonces trato de fijarme en inglés. Ah, yeah, that's, 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 that's great. Well, that's, great. That's, that's great. All right, perfect, Salvador. That was great for you. All right. All right, uh, how about you, Stephanie? Hi, how's everything? How was, Hi, how, was, how was your day? Tell us, how was your day? What? <laughs> how was your day? Como estuvo su día? Very good. Very good? Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Nothing special today? No, no. Just, just the same no, old? Really. Ah, okay. Yeah. Just the same old no, thing. No, okay. me. Great. Where you go, Google? I am going to take the rest of it. Okay. It's sabe cuando pedí. Cuando sabe. Ah, sí. <laughs> Cuando sabe que usted no va a decir que no. Cabal. A esta niña sí. Ok. That's good. All right. How about you, Nubia? How are you? Uh, did you do something special today? No, teacher. I'm fine. I relaxed today, yes. You are relaxed? But, yes. Uh, the Friday, um, I put on my uh, feet shoes, higher shoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my rodilla, how do you say rodilla? My knee, uh huh. My knee, um, andado con, bueno, andado con dolor. Ah, all right. 
is aching. Mm. Pero eso me ha hecho estar ahora aquí, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. All right, Nubia. That was great. Okay, so let's see. Ah, Carlos Eduardo is in here already. Uh, Hilmar too. Ah, Rosa del Carmen is still on the, on the way home. Ah, perfecto, Rosa, no se preocupe. Ok. Eh, cuando llegue a casa, entonces se conecta ya con la, con la cámara, ok. Pero sí, mientras va en el transporte colectivo, it's, it's not that um, useful to, to, to take out the phone. All right, perfect. So we're going to start with the things that we got for tonight. Mm, tonight we're going to have a, a, a different topic from the one that we were practicing yesterday. But before starting with the topic, uh, I am going to pass the attendance list, okay? Let's start with that. Let's see, Amilcar Gustavo. Hmm. Okay, not here. Ana Claribel. Okay. Ana Maria. Hi, Ana Maria. She usually comes a little bit late. Uh, Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Here. Eric Guillermo. Hey, Eric. Yeah, Eric is not connected. That's weird. Probably ha something happened to, to his internet. Uh, Stephanie Janet. Present. Okay. Nice. Fatima Alejandra. Fatima Alejandra. Just, just connecting. Ah, okay. Who's the tiempo? <laughs> All right. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Okay, nice. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan is not here yet. Carla Benazir. Present. Okay, thank you. Natalie Vanessa. Mm. Natalie is not here. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Romeo Alexis. Okay, Romeo is not here yet. Rosa del Carmen. Ay, Rosa todavía va de camino a casa. All right, uh, Roxana Yesenia. I thought Roxana was connected. But I guess it's not. Uh, Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Okay, there you go. Uh, Stephanie Adeline. Mm, she's not here yet. Stephanie Lisette. No here. William Alberto. Okay, neither here. And Joanny Noemi. So. Okay, there you go. Okay, good. So before we start with the main topic that we got for today, let's remember that we generally do a short feedback from the previous class before starting with uh, with the main topic. Okay, now can somebody tell me what was the main topic that we were discussing yesterday? What was the topic that we were discussing? Imperatives. Command. Okay. Imperatives or commands. Okay. There you go. That was that was the topic that we were discussing. Okay. Very good. What else do we remember from that? Okay. How to give an imperative? Do you remember how to give? Aha. Uh -huh, because that was the main topic. Okay. The topic that we were discussing yesterday was imperatives or okay commands okay what was an imperative okay when do we use an imperative all right when aha uh -huh. in what occasion we use imperatives or commands we use uh, um, our 
order. Ah, ok, when you provide Para dar order. instrucciones directas. Ok. To give instructions. All right. Ok. To give instructions. In those cases, uh, uh, ok, we use imperatives or commands to give instructions. Ok. Very good. Uh, in this case, let's see. Okay, uh, Stephanie was participating and also Nubia. Let's see, Helmer. What is a common command that you use in your house? In my house, um, clear your rooms. Uh, clear. What to what you choose? Okay, clean your room. Wash your shoes. Okay, that's uh, a, those are like your yours, right? Okay. An extra one that you that you that you um provide in your house. Give me another mm -hmm. one. Only one more, Helmer. Uh, sería third one. Um, Turn off the TV early. Sí. Apagar la televisión temprano. Yes. Ah, okay. Turn off the TV early. Okay, very good. Okay. Turn on the TV early. Okay, those are your commands. Very good. Joanny, how about you? What are the ones that you mm -hmm. usually provide in your house? Close the door. Which one? Close the door. Ah, close the door. Okay, another um, one. Order your toys. Organize your toys. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Organize your toys. Okay, there you go. Give me another one that you generally uh, say. Joanny? Mm, give, give me an extra, an extra um, um, command that you give in your house or that you use in your house. Mm. No sé, dicho. ¿Cuáles son esas, esas instrucciones que usted generalmente da en su casa? O sea, las clases de door, organize your toys. Uh -huh. mm. Clean your room. Nah, ok. Clean your room. Clean your room, ok. I think this is mostly for your kids, right? Supongo que yes. es más que todo para su, para su hijo. Ok. All right. <laughs> I thought about it. Ok. Carlos Eduardo, how about yours? Eh, Podría ser clean the bathroom, teacher. Ok. Clean the bath, the bathroom. Ok. Uh -huh. Any other one? Eh, the organize the closet, podría ser. Okay, organize the closet. Give me one more. And the, and the open the windows at night. Cerrar ventanas, puertas. Let's that's, that's close the window then. Close. close the window. At night. Okay, close the windows at night. Like cerrar las ventanas. 
and last noche, okay? Okay. All right, okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Let's see. Okay, okay. Salvador, what are like the most common ones that you use? What are the most common imperatives that you use in your house? Uh, Uh -huh. Were you read the book? Read the book, okay. Read the book. Okay. Another one? Um come on clean clean the car. Clean? Ah. ah, okay, there you go. I, I think that's a Chinese person, the one that is talking, Salvador. ¿Cómo, cómo? Is that a Chinese person? Chinese, no, que, no sé qué Chinese. Ah, eh, eh, es una chinita la que está hablando. <laughs> no, no, ahorita mi mamá. <laughs> ah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, de hecho, el otro, la computadora lo tengo como dijo aquí también. Okay, I'm sorry, man. No, the thing is that, es que no sé, generalmente, generalmente, like, las, uh, I mean, Chinese people used to talk like that. Generalmente, las, 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 las asiáticos suelen hablar algo así, así como cantadito, ¿no? Like, ¿será, ah, sí. ¿será, ¿Será o no? <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> They are very smart. <laughs> okay. All right, Salvador, continue like that. Listen um, to it, okay? All right, Nubia. Okay, what are the most common um, instructions that you give it in your house, Nubia? Um, sleep, sleep early at night. Okay, sleep early at night. Okay. Turn off the cell phones at uh, 10 p.m. Turn off the cell phone at 8 p.m. or 10? Uh, 10, 10 p.m. Ah, okay. Turn off the cell phone at 10 p.m. Okay, that's another one. And the last one, I want you to provide one um, more. Turn off the TV at 8 p.m. Ah, okay. Brush your teeth. Okay, brush your teeth. There you go. That's something like, like really important, right? Okay, thank you, Nubia. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's see who's next. Fatima. Help me out, Fatima. What are the most common instructions that you give? Probably to your father, your mother, your husband, your kids, uh, the ones that you live there. Los que más utilice. Clean the kitchen. Ah, okay. Clean the kitchen. Okay, very good. Clean the kitchen. What else? Wash the dishes. Wow. Okay, uh-huh. Wash the dishes. Very good. 
Also, this one, we can put it like this. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Yeah, and it's likely similar, okay? Yeah. Turn off, no sé, ¿cómo se dice? El foco, luz, no sé. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, turn off the light. Mm, turn turn the off. Light. Okay, turn off the light. the light. Ah, okay, very good. Turn off the light. Who do you usually give these commands, Fatima? ¿Con quién uso esos comandos? Yes. Más bien me los dicen a mí. <laughs> okay. My mom teacher, my mom. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Fatima, turn out the lights. And you, okay, in a moment. And you last <laughs> one, one more extra hour. Okay. Yes. All yes. right. Okay, there you go. Mm. Stephanie, do you give me yours? Mrs. Janet? Yeah, because the other Stephanie think it's not connected. Hola. At Hello. least not right now. Ah, yeah, Mrs. Janet and, and Ruth is here. Ah, con razón no me, no, no, no me prestaba atención usted, Janet. Okay, do you, do you participate? Yes, why? Ah. No, porque, ah, porque, porque decía yeah. Stephanie. And, and, you, ah, and, yeah. and, you, and you don't usually pay attention when I say Stephanie. Because when I say Stephanie, exactly. generally I'm talking about Mrs. Rutia. Que se acaba de conectar. Hmm. Okay. No, desde hace rato solo activé la cámara. Ajá, ok. A ver, nice. Ah, sí, ahora vino Natalie. Va, ya no, ya no, ya no vamos a estarnos quejando. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's see. So, Janet, mm -hmm. tell me what are the most common commands that you generally give in your house? Okay. Um, is open the door to uh -huh. the to the Do perrito. <laughs> open the door. To the perrito, como se dice? Ah, open the door to the puppy. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, very good. Um, brush your teeth. Okay. Brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, clean the clean your hands. Oh, wash your hands. Mm, también. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, like when we talk about cleaning the house, the, I mean, the, the, the hands, it's like wash uh, the hands, right? Wash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's likely similar to that. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Nice. Okay, good. So these ones are like the most common ones that we generally uh, provide into a sentence, right? Remember, with uh, um, imperatives, or commands, generally we do not write subject, okay? Generalmente con estos no llevan subject, okay? We uh, just provide them with the verb and a complement, okay? To make the verb has more sense, okay? Just, just that way. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's continue with the, with the topic that we got for today, okay? This is just uh, basically a review from the topic that we were doing yesterday, okay? And now let's focus on the topic that we have for tonight. Because tonight we're gonna have uh, two topics that are like kind of easy, okay? That are really easy for us to make. Just give me a second. I'm going to stop sharing for a while. May I have to compartir un moment? Give me a second. Where is the class? I think this, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so today we're not, we're not gonna have that much information um, uh, to talk about, but we're gonna be practicing more, okay? And we're gonna do it in the manuals. We're gonna do it in a conversation that we're gonna have uh, related to this topic, 
Okay. So today's topic is going to be how to use have to and need to. Okay. Vamos a tener dos estructuras muy diferentes. Okay. Eh, con las cuales vamos a estar trabajando. Have to and need to. Have you ever uh, listened that expression before? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado esa expresión antes? Have to. O la expresión need to. Only music. Only music. Ah, okay, all right. Only need. Ah, okay, only need. What is need to? Have you ever heard need to before? Okay, I get. I guess. I guess we haven't haven't heard about those type of uh structures before. But don't worry. Like right now, we're gonna uh see what it talks about. Okay. Como tener o necesitar y necesitar. Mm. Algo así, algo así. Okay, something like that. We're gonna check that later, right? So the class agenda for tonight. Listen up. What are we going to have for this class? Uh, we had a review from the previous class, cosa que acabamos de, eh, de hacer, okay? Got that review. Uh, then, okay, the uses of have to and has to. Recordemos que have to puede ser para la primera persona, segundas personas, o plurales, okay? Have to. And has to, it's mostly for third person. Ya has to es más que todo para tercera persona. Recordemos, cuando usamos he, she, or we use it. Okay. That's pretty much. Uh, good, good night, teacher. Uh, everybody, todo. Uh, good night a todos. T disculpe, ahí, teacher, me vengo conectando ahorita por cuestiones de trabajo. Ah, okay. No problem, Eric. Welcome. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Y okay. Perdón, y ahí si me puede tomar asistencia. <laughs> no, no se preocupe. Ya lo voy a incluir, ¿ok? En la asistencia. Gracias, Fernando. Estaba. All right, no problem. <laughs> ah. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Por el apoyo, por el apoyo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Ok, good. ¿Será que estaba cenando o durmiendo, Hilmar? What do you think? <laughs> no, fíjese que eh, primer día que que vine temprano a la casa y este eh, bueno ahí medio estaba chateando con Salvador y que él estaba conectado a una sesión de trabajo y me dice conectate me dice no le digo yo ahorita el primer día que vengo temprano voy a descansarle y en eso me, me cayó una llamada y por cierto ah, tenía que ser no mentira me cayó una llamada de una sucursal ahí en San Miguel que tenían problemas con unas devoluciones y, y no les cuadraba el reporte de fin de día, así es que me tocó conectarme y hasta ahorita voy terminando de no, cuadrar, yeah. cuadrar la caja. I'm sorry, man. You had a hard night. Yeah. <laughs> así es que por eso ha sido todo el problema. Ok, ok. I understand Thank you, man. No problem. Ok. Thank you. You had a hard day, pero supongo que Ana María tuvo un día mucho más difícil. Look at, look, look at that face. Hi, how are you, Ana Maria? Welcome. He he estado con creo que hoy me han llegado todos los males. Y estaba pidiendo time en el en el en el trabajo y no me daban. Quería salir, me me dio como una especie de 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 mareo y náuseas. Really? Y así estuve todo el día. No quería, porque este día teníamos que cerrar el mes. Uh -huh. Entonces, no podía faltar. Pero sí ando. Mareos en náuseas. Hmm. No, ok. <risa> no, es que me han dado con un dolor de espalda. Ajá. Entonces, este, me tomé un examen y salió un poco de infección. Pero dije yo, no uh -huh. quiero tomar antibiótico, pero creo que se ha empeorado. Oh, no, you had to take them. Tome, no, 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 vaya, no vaya a dejar que no, se empeore porque puede uh -huh. ser, ya, yeah, 
it can be more difficult if you if you mm -hmm. if you live it like that. Si lo dejas así puede ser muy más complicado. Pero estuve leyendo cosas porque es que estar tomando antibióticos. Yo tomé el año pasado un tratamiento para una bacteria estomacal, 14 días de antibióticos y eran 10, 10 pastillas. Entonces mi estómago quedó mal. Así que ahora estaba tomando el jugo de cranberry porque dicen que eso es bueno para las infecciones, uh -huh. pero creo que no me ayudó. Uy, sorry. That's difficult when we have those type of uh, illnesses. Ah, lo siento mucho, espero que se mejore de verdad. Sí, eso es horrible. Pero aquí estoy. Aquí yeah. estoy. That's the most important thing, okay? That's the most important thing. Okay, let's start. Uh, right after explaining need to, we're gonna go to do some exercises, okay? On, uh, on the manuals, okay? We're gonna work on the manuals. Uh, probably at the end. Okay, vamos a comenzar con la primera. Have to. Okay. When do we use have to? Okay, this is like a, a kind of, um, how can I say this? Easy structure because have to is likely similar to, 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 to the structures to show um, obligation. Okay, when we do something. And that's pretty much what we are going to see like right now. Give me a sec. And it says, um, let's see who can help me out. Carla, read the definition, please. Okay. Uh, have to, has to. I use it to express ser certain certainty. Certainty. Necessity uh -huh. and obligation. An obligation. obligation. Okay, thank you, Carla. Okay, have to or has to in tercera persona, remember? It's just to express certainty. Para expresar, okay. All right, what is certainty? Have you ever heard the word certainty? Okay, certainty means certeza, okay, in something, certeza. Necessity, okay, when we have it, the necessity to do something for someone or to someone or even for us to. So necessity means necesidad, okay, and obligations, y obligaciones, okay. So basically that is the meaning of have to and has to, okay. We got some examples. Fatima, read uh, the first example. This answer has to be correct. Correct. Certainty. Ah, okay, very good. It's, it expresses certainty. Joanny, read the second example, please. I have to finish the work, the workbook before the exam. The exam, okay. The exam. That expresses, necessity. okay, thank you, Joanny. That expresses necessity, okay? Necessity. necessity. Why? All right, why? Because in that case, all right, we need to finish one activity before doing another activity, okay? That is a necessity, okay, for finishing something. So, básicamente, acá están las tres, un ejemplo de las tres tipos de maneras en las que se puede utilizar el have to o has to. Okay, how come? Expresando certeza about something. Expresando necesidad, all right, necessity about something or someone. And the last one, uh, Stephanie Rutia. Read it, please. They have to leave early. All right, Carlos, ya la voy a compartir un momento, please. Um, okay, thank you, uh, Mrs. Adeline. I mean, Urrutia. Adeline. Adeline is not here yet. <laughs> Como me di? I tell you where Adeline. Uh, uh, I, now I remember that Adeline is not coming. 
Hey, by the way, by the way, by the way. Oh, ya, ya no quiero. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, but how about how about Mrs. Adeline talking about her? ¿Cómo sigue? Eh, Natalie, or, or you, Mrs. Urrutia? Eh, pues yo creo que ya bien porque ya mañana le tocaría presentarse. Ok, there you go. Sí. Hmm. Ya mañana llegaría el traba a trabajar. Okay. Sí, porque le dieron más incapacidad, Tichi. Ah, ok. okay. Probable, probablemente se agravó. Porque más. parece. Sí, estaba bien mal, la verdad. Estaba bien mal. Pero al parecer ya mañana llega. Ah, ok, perfecto. Dígale que mañana le esperamos un placer acá. Ok. Vaya. Ok. All right. Ok. Good. But thank you, Mrs. Urrutia. Urrutia. Ok. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, let's, let's continue with this. Ok. And I have to also, ok, is used to show obligation. La mayor parte de, de, de las veces que solemos utilizar el have to, listen up, generalmente se utiliza para um, ok, generalmente se utiliza para listen up, se utiliza para mostrar obligación sobre algo, ok, cuando nosotros solemos uh, tener la obligación de hacer algo, ok, o hacer algo para alguien, ok, in this case, I can say, I have to go to work every day, tengo que ir a trabajar todos los días, I have to go to work every day, so el have to es más que todo para expresar obligación, ok, we express obligation for something, cuando expresamos obligación al momento de hacer ciertas actividades, ¿ok? Just keep that in mind. Have to is mostly used to make or create, ¿ok? Uh, obligation questions, ¿ok? Preguntas obligatorias. Ok, no solo preguntas también, podemos hacer oraciones en las cuales estemos, um, how can I say this? Obligados a hacer algo. Like obligated to do something. Okay. Example. Let's suppose uh, Ana Maria is sick. She has a <coughs> cough and everything. And, uh, and somebody tell her, hey, Ana Maria, you have to go to the doctor. That is an emergency. Okay. So in that case, that's an obligation for Ana Maria to do it. Okay. Entonces, ahí estamos expresando que obligación. Okay? Obligation for something. In here, what it says is like, expresamos tres. De acuerdo a estos tres eh, ejemplos que tenemos acá en pantalla. One of them is to show certainty. Uno es para mostrar certeza sobre algo. Okay? Cuando estamos seguros de algo okay? o que algo va a pasar, generalmente utilizamos el have to. Okay? have to. Uh, como el ejemplo que tenemos, this answer has to be correct. Esta respuesta debe estar correcta. Okay? O debe ser la correcta. You see, en ese caso ahí, ¿qué estamos expresando? Estamos expresando cierto grado de certeza. Okay? In our questions. And also in our uh, daily life speaking. That's part of what we were um, nah, like, like talking before. Now, to express necessity, okay? To express necessity. What is a necessity for you? Of something that we need to cover, okay? En este caso tenemos un ejemplo. I had to finish the workbook before the exam, okay? I, okay, we can say I have to buy food because I'm hungry. I have to buy food because I am hungry. Okay, you see? That is different, okay? En ese caso ahí, ya no estoy demostrando una uh, uh, obligación, sino más bien una necesidad. Entonces, vamos a tener que aprender 
a cómo acoplarlos de acuerdo al, al ambiente o a la situación de la que estemos hablando. ¿Ok? Into a sentence. Recordemos que no todas las expresiones o u oraciones son las mismas, ¿ok? O se traducen de la misma manera. Ok, what is, what is, what is, um, when it shows obligation? Generalmente es cuando hablamos de obligaciones en el trabajo, obligations with the family, obligaciones con la familia, ¿ok? And obligations uh, for us to do something good. Y pues obligación para nosotros, ¿por qué? Porque acá, ¿ok? Using have to, using have to, podemos expresar oraciones bastante formales sobre cosas o eventos que nosotros estamos obligados a hacer, ¿ok? Eh, digamos, eh, con cierto número de frecuencia, ¿ok? With same, same sorts of frequency. Example of it. I have to wake up early every day. Okay, tengo que levantarme temprano todos los días. So you see, that is an obligation that I have. Entonces, es una obligación que yo tengo. Okay, what is the, of the most common obligation that you have? Okay, tell me, what is the most common obligation that you have? Okay, um, in this case, William, are you there? Yes. Okay, tell me an obligation that you have to do every day, William. Uh, I had to uh -huh. work, but, but buy my things. To buy my things. To mm -hmm. buy my things. Okay, very good, William. Thank you. Okay. Mrs. Urrutia, what is an obligation that you have? I have to cook every day. I have to? Cook every day. Ah, okay, that's an obligation, right? That's yes. an, in a somehow, that's an obligation that you have to do Every day. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Surrutia. Okay, let's see. Eric, tell me an obligation that you have to do every single day. I have to drink coffee <laughs> all day. No, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> listen. That is, that, is not a, that is not an obligation. Esa ya, corresponde, esa ya corresponde a la categoría de necessity. Necessity, ah, okay. no obligation. That's no a necessity. Obligation. Cuando en, ah. acá es básicamente. Ok, en, como en este caso acá ya expresa una necesidad. Ya no estamos expresando una obligación. Ok, una obligación es algo que, que, que usted está o sea, atado a hacerlo. Ok. Atado a hacerlo y que ya hay un horario específico para ello. ¿Ok? Eh, en, en ya, en ya está básicamente establecido. Establecido. Right? Exacto. Entonces okay. acá, ese ejemplo que dio es con relación a, a una necesidad. Necesidad. Exacto. Ok. Um, then I, I have to give support to the stores. I had to give support to the store. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. That's an obligation in your work. Very good. Thank you, Eric. Carlos Eduardo. Thank you, thank you. Give me an obligation that you have. Uh, I have to work from Monday at Sunday, eight hours. From Monday to Sunday. To Sunday, eight hours. What? Don't you have three days? Yes. Eh, pero descanso un fin de semana, dos días. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, that's acceptable. Sí. Ahí sí ya es aceptable entonces, ok. Sí, aquí ya es guerrero, teacher, aquí. Ya, ya, ya. Queda de otra. <laughs> yes. Ok, that's good for you, Carlos. Esos software teacher pasan esas cuestiones. 
¿Cómo dice? Por gente así como Eric que desarrolla esos software que tienen a la gente. <risa> en estilo. Exactly. <risa> exactly. Hey, ¿Qué pasó ahí, Eric? <risa> ok. Qué, bar qué barbaridad. Nada, que dormido pasa en el trabajo y por otra tiene que trabajar tanto. <risa> Al rato le va a mandar un troyano, dice, por correo. <risa> ok, ok, good. Uh, thank you, Carlos. Okay. Ana María. Ok, what's an obligation that you have to do every day, Ana María? I take my English class all night. Ok, repeat it again. I take I, my English. I have... Eight. I have I, to take. I have I have to take my English class yeah, all okay. night. Ah, not the whole night. Come on, it's two hours, just two hours. Cuando dice the whole night es toda la noche. Y usted ya las diez ya no sí. me quiere ver. <laughs> no ni verlo. <laughs> Pintura. You see? Ah, ya ve. Ahí le voy a mandar un par de pupusas con salsa negra y se le va a quitar todo eso, ya va a ver. No. <ríe> ok, thank you, Ana María. Un atolito, un atolito rosado, mandé. Ah, un atolito rosado también, yeah, that's true. Ayer tomé el chuco, ayer. Ajá. Ajá. Pero no rosado. Por eso es que anda enferma, ¿y sí? <ríe> No. You don't taste different things. Uh -huh. All right. But thank you, Ana Maria. Okay, Joanny, tell me an obligation, Joanny, that you have to do every day. I have to arrive early. I have to arrive early. Ah, but where? Mm -hmm. Pero, ¿dónde? In the world. Ah, to my work. Uh, to my work. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Joanny. Carla, can you mention an obligation that you might have? Uh, I have to pay the bills. Okay, yeah, that's an obligation. That's an obligation that we have to pay. Oh my God, I don't want to pay bills. But I say like, ah, porque nacimos pobres. Why yes. did the mom poor? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, I, but, but that's okay. Thank you, Carla. Fatima, how about you? I have to check my email every day in my work. Okay, I had check my email every day okay with my work in my work there you go thank you fatima let's see do ya give me an example okay teacher i i have to drive for my son and daughter with okay. your with your um Compromisos? How do you say compromisos? Compromisos. But what kind of what kind of them? ¿Qué tipo de compromisos? Clases de violín, fútbol. Ah, okay. okay, okay, all right. In that case, they are duties. Duty. Oh. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Novia. Let's see who's next. Natalie. Yeah, Natalie is kind of quiet today. Okay, Seria, I have to buy the dog's food. I have to buy the dog's food, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, that's great. You buy food to your dog. Hmm. Mine eats everything. Hmm. Uh, let's see who's missing. Salvador. 
Tu padre, Salvador. Justo menos de un minuto, que va a terminar, dicho. Ajá. Eh, ¿Obligaciones? Ya, yeah, obligaciones. Um, show Wordy Doll. ¿Which one? Show Wordy Doll. Show Wordy yeah. Doll. No, but in this case, since, since it is an obligation, you can say, I have to shower the dog. Repeat. Ah, okay. I have to shower the dog. Ah, okay. Very good, Salvador. Thank you. Okay. I had never showed a dog. That must be That must be weird. Let's see. Rosa del Carmen, did you go home? Ya llegó a la casa. Rosa. Hi, teacher. Ahorita acabo de venir. ¿ya? <laughs> ok. Es que hay una trabazón horrenda. ¿Rene? Sí. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Por todos lados, por todos. Ya se puede ver el estrés que tiene ahorita. Ay, el was... día que tuve peor todavía. Se la complementó. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it happened like like me. I had to go. I mean, I had to. I had a very very heavy day, especially because I was like traveling from one place to another. For example, in the morning I had to go to work in Usulatan. Then I had to pay some bills to Samuel. Then I had to go back to Usulutan and then from Usulutan I had to go back here to my house. So that was a long day, long and heavy day. But you see, here we are. Okay, let's see who's missing. Mrs. Janet, did you participate already in this? No. Ah, okay. Go on. <laughs> okay, thirty. Um, I have to work every day. Ah, I have to work every day. Okay, very good. That is an obligation that we got, right? That's something that we got. Very good. All right, perfect. Let's move on with this. Muy bien, entonces avancemos con esto. Let's see. Have to or has to. Oh my God. Ana Maria. Can you please read, please? Please, please, please. All right, Ana Maria. I think I think I think she got she got uh, no electricity. Eric, read the first example, please. I have to wear uniform in my work. Okay, very good. That shows an obligation, right? Okay. Another one, um, Natalie. Um, I sería usando cuál teacher? The second example. Ah, okay. You have to meet with the clients. Okay, you have to meet with the client. That's another obligation, right? In este caso, estamos expresando obligación. You have to meet with the clients. Tienes que reunirte con los clientes. Okay, you see? Hilmar, read it, please. Okay. She has to, she has to make calls every day. Okay, she has to make calls every day. So in her work, probably that is one obligation that she has to do, okay? Probablemente en su trabajo es algo que se habían requerido, okay? Y es parte de sus uh, labores, to say it like that, okay? There you go. Let's continue. Amilka, read for me, please. 
he has to talk a lot. He has to talk a lot. Okay, very good. Acá ya no estamos expresando, listen up. Acá con esta ya no estamos expresando obligación. When it says he has to talk a lot, ya ahí estamos hablando de algo certero, okay? In that case, we're applying certainty, okay? Certainty in something. He has to talk a lot. Okay? That is to talk about certainty. Entonces, acá ya estamos hablando de certeza sobre algo. There you go. Let's continue. Or, I don't know if you're copying that information. No sé si están copiando esta información. I can go sí, back. Sí, teacher, la anterior, póngala, por favor. Okay. <laughs> In a second. There you go. Let me know when you finish, okay? All right. Let me know when you finish, okay? Just let me know and we can move on. Finish. Perfect. Can you please read it, Natalie? Hola. Okay, you finish, right? Finish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, let's move it. Any other one that has already finished? All right, thank you. I still see some of you that are writing. Okay, perfect. Let's move on. Okay, remember, have to or has to is mostly to talk about obligations, okay? Entonces, recordemos que have to and has to, eh, la mayor parte de veces es utilizada nada más para obligaciones, okay? Obligations or something. That's where we use them, okay? Or in the actions that we use them. Okay. Recordemos que el has to es para las terceras personas, okay? And have to is for first, second, and plurals, okay? There you go. Ahora bien, tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a, a la estructura del uh, have to? Any question? Recordemos que eh, have to significa tener que. Okay. That's the translation, okay? Tener que. For example, Tengo que ir a trabajar. I have to go to work. You see? That is an obligation of that. That is an obligation. Okay. Let's move on. Need to. Okay. Have you ever heard that expression? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado esa expresión? Need to. Yes or no? Necesitar. Just need, uh, just need, that's necesitar, okay, in a general mm -hmm. form. But need to, okay, it's, it's, it has to do, okay. It's likely, it's likely similar to that, but in need to, it's mostly when we express the necessity of doing something, okay? It's like when we, next, we express a necessity for doing something. In that case, we use need to. 
We got an example. Fatima, read the example, please. I need to do my chores every day. My chores every day. Chores. Very good. Every. Thank you. Let's move on. Nubia, read it, please. Okay, you need to buy new clothes. Okay, you need to buy new clothes. ¿Cómo interpretamos esa oración? Can somebody tell me? Tú necesitas ir a comprar nueva ropa. All right, very good. Or, shorter one. Necesitas ir a comprar ropa nueva. You see? Carlos Eduardo. Sí. Read it for me, please. Read it. She needs to write a new letter. Okay, she needs to write a new letter. Okay. So in that case, it's like, Necesita escribir una nueva carta, okay? That's when we feel the necessity for doing something, okay? Aquí es cuando ya expresamos la necesidad por hacer algo. All right, Eric, read it, please. He needs to send the reports. Uh, the reports. Now, okay. He needs to send the reports. Ok, mm -hmm. él necesita enviar los reportes, ok, there you go, that's one of the things that we got there, um, all of them expresses in somehow a necessity, ok, and with a certain degree of obligation as well, ok, obligation in a somehow, for example, if I say, I need to be at seven in my work. Necesito estar a las siete en mi trabajo. I need to be at seven in my job. Okay. There you go. This topic, I'm not going to touch it that much because it's a very easy topic. But I want you to know if it is good for you. No sé si hasta acá estamos bien con los dos de need. Are we okay? Do we have any question? Alguna pregunta? Teacher. Ajá. Estaba viendo que uh, cuando es en she, he, uh, se le va a agregar una S. That's correct. Eh, tal y como los demás, las demás verbos. Acordémonos que ahí la estructura está en presente simple. Por lo tanto, ok, el verbo tiene que sufrir la modificación, ok. El verbo okay. auxiliar, ok. Cuando es negativo, el verbo auxiliar igual cuando es pregunta, pero cuando es oración afirmativa, ¿qué hacemos? Como no va un auxiliar, easy. Ok, cuando no va un auxiliar, simplemente se modifica el verbo. Y ahí dependiendo del verbo que sea, recordemos que le agregamos S, E, S, O, I, E, S, o I, E, S. Ok. Ok, perfect. Let's continue. Rosa del Carmen, read it for me, please. I need to spend more time with my children. Ok, I need to spend more time with my children. Filmar, hmm. ¿cómo identificamos esta oración? I need to spend more time with my children. What does it mean? I need to pass on my time with my children. Okay, necesito, right? I need. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, let me see. I'm going to stop sharing for a while. Okay. Eh, voy a dejar de compartir por un instante. Voy a pasar a la segunda asistencia because it's 9 uh, 04. Y luego continuamos con el tema, ¿ok? Because we have to do a practice with this. Ok, nice. I'm going to pass the ten. Amilcar Gustavo. Ah, ok. Ana Claribel.
Ana Cariel. Hey, Ana, that was connected. That's good. Let's see, Ana Maria. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, Carlos Eduardo. Present. Okay, nice. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Perfect. Stephanie Janet. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Very good. Um, Gilmar Cruz. Present. Excellent. Jonathan Alexander. Ah, Jonathan. Probably he, he still have problems with his wife. I mean, in the hospital. But let's see. Let me see. Carla Benazir. Present. Okay. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay. Nice. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Very great. Romeo Alexis. Romeo, are you there? Uh, ah, okay, perfect, Romeo. Let's see, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, excellent. Roxana Yesenia. Hey, Roxana is missing. Huh. Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, Stephanie Adeline is not here. Let's see, Stephanie Lisette. Present. Ah, okay, very good. And the last one, Joanny Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Let's continue with the presentation. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. William, did I show it? Give me a second. The thing is, the thing is that I got a new, a new list. Give me a second. Ah, uh, I see. Está después de Giovanni. Give me a second. No sé por qué me quedo al final. All right. William Alberto. Yes. Present. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you, man. Uh, okay. I need to. I need to 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 recheck this. Necesito cambiar la posición. Give me a second. There you go. Ahora sí. As it is. Ah, before uh, before we continue with this. Uh, I'm going to, to, to have the chance to, to send the presentation to all of you. Give me a second. Ah, this is the group. Give me a second and I'm gonna send it to you. Number eight. Okay, give me a second. Okay, we got it. Bien, perfecto. Entonces les acabo de enviar la presentación que estamos ahorita uh, desarrollando, okay? Just, just for you to have it. Just in case it's needed for you. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Now, that we have been discussing uh, how to use need to. Recordemos, need to significa necesitar, okay? Or necesito. That's one of the things. Okay, like I need to go to bed because I am sleepy. That's my example, okay? I need to go to bed because I am sleepy. Ahí ya llevamos la estructura del need to, okay? She needs to have a good computer. You see? She needs to have... Okay, a good computer. So you see, in that case, son para cosas que generalmente eh, nosotros necesitamos hacer. Okay, to put it that uh, way. Amilcar. 
What is something that you generally need to do? Tell me. I need to work every day to All right, Amilcar, uh, we don't listen to you anything. No, no, no sé, pero como que no le escucho muy bien. No sé si hay cierto grado como de interrupción, eh, eh, like with the microphone. ¿Se escucha mejor así? Ah, mucho mejor. Mucho yeah. mejor. Ok. Tell me something you need to do, Amilcar. I need to... To job to take money. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you. Luvia. Give me one example, Luvia. I need to prepare my breakfast every day. Okay. I need to prepare my breakfast every day. There you go. Thank you. Fatima. Can you please tell us something that you need to do? I need to buy new cell phone. A new cell phone. A new cell phone. I need to buy a new cell phone. Okay, very good. I need to buy a new cell phone. Thank you. Carla? Mention I... something. Uh -huh. Mention something that you need to do. I need more sleep. Ah, ok, listen, listen, listen. Listen what happened there. En este caso, la oración está correcta, ok? Pero en este caso, listen up. What are we going to do with this? Generalmente acá, después del need to, llevamos un verbo adicional, ok? Y en este caso usted no me proveó de un verbo adicional, ¿ok? Sino un noun. Oh. Ok, I okay. want you to read, read it again. Uh, ok. Um, I, need, I need to do by market. Ok. Oh, I, need, market. I need to buy uh -huh, markers. In the uh, markets. No, ok. Very good. I told you we're about to put a store, but not that it's okay. Okay, excellent. I just got one more participation uh, before we start an extra one. Eric. I need to repair my car. Ah, okay, very good. Actually, I need to repair my car. Oh my God, I don't know why that happens to me. <laughs> you know what? Um, the, 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 the engine oil is leaking into the ground. It's leaking. And when I was coming, like right now, antes de clase, cuando venía, you know what? La manguera de la gasolina is burnt. Y se venía cayendo. <laughs> For real. I, I, I got by the way with that car. Okay. Lo, mío no, lo mío no es mucho, el mío solo es un rayoncito que es, tiene dañado el, el, el bumper, el, los guardafangos, el capó, el motor. Uh -huh. el... <ríe> Me chocaron de frente. <ríe> ah, ¿really? Really, teacher. Oh, my God. Uh, hace, un, hace un año me chocaron de frente alguien que se tiró en sentido contrario. Uh. Eh, pasé nueve meses en bancado. Oh my god. Eso es terrible. That's yeah. horrible for real. No, la vez pasada una señora me pegó eh, en la parte de adelante. Menos mal, en la parte de adelante solían dar una, una luz eh, que rodea la placa. Ok. The hole, the plate. In case in English. Uh, la señora se iba a parquear y justo adelante de mí, porque había un gran espacio como de unos dos metros y medio. Pero quizá la señora se emocionó <ríe> en girar hacia atrás. Se metió y luego giró para organizarse, pero venía con todo. She hit in my car. Yeah. And you know what? What was the worst thing? No andaba ni licencia. 
and, and I was like, Lord. it's my case. In my case, too, uh, teacher. In, in, in my case, it's like, lo siento por usted, pero. <laughs> eh, no, si a mí no me respondió con nada. A mí, eh, una persona con influencias eh, afectó en la policía, en los videos, todo está a mi favor, en las noticias, salió también el accidente. Vieron que yo no tuve la culpa, ella invadió carril por ir peleando con el marido que iba en otro carro, se iban chocando los carros y este se tiró en curva en sentido contrario a ella y me impactó de frente. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Así es. Que... Ah, la película. Ya, ya parece rápido y furioso. Ya parece rápido y furioso. Por andar haciendo carreras, Eric. Se lo hubiera eh. despistado el Eric ahí. Cada quien era el asfalto que se ama. Después de ver Rápido y Furioso, estábamos preparando la 9. La 9. Number 10, creo que ya salió la 9. Ok, no, pero sí. Bueno, ahí Salvador es testigo. Fue un proceso bastante largo, lento y doloroso. Oh, yeah, pero, I mean, that, um, that, 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 that hurts, for real, that hurts. Me fracturaron en tres el fémur. Tengo platina con 10 clavos. Oh, fémur de derecho. Mm -hmm. God. Sí, pero ahí andamos. Yeah. Y, me, y me acaba de dar la noticia a mi hija que este año se graduó ella, ¿verdad? Y que hay que hacer un baile de graduación de los padres con los hijos. Y me dice, me apunto. Daémosle, le digo. Así que, ¿cómo voy a hacer? No sé. Ahí voy. <ríe> ahí Dios proveerá, como dicen. I don't worry about that, man. No worry. Yeah, but the, the, those, be careful with those uh, accidents. Yeah. Yo ya estuve primero, pero en moto. Mm -hmm. Igual, una señora se me atravesó. <laughs> And I hit it with my back. Eh, that was last year. Eso fue en, en el primero de mm, febrero del año pasado. And know what? I, in, in, me destruyó la parte delantera del moto and everything. Uh, y no quise ir al hospital. Porque a mí me sentía bien. Solo un poco como adolorida la espalda, pero... Nothing, nothing to worry about. Okay, estaba preocupado por la moto porque tenía un mes desde haberla comprado. Y no was like, no. And I was like, okay. I was like, mm, mad, you know. No, but that, that, that's, that, that, that's a problem. That's a problem when they don't want to pay. That's a big problem. Y ahora que la sufre las consecuencias soy yo. <laughs> With the headaches, porque ahora mi espalda sí está. Como, 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 sintiendo como que me voy quebrando ya. <laughs> But anyways, such a slice. Okay, let's continue with this. Uh, right after um, discussing need to, okay, need to, let's try to do this. Look, we got a short conversation thing, okay? Vamos a tener esta pequeña uh, práctica de conversación. Okay, using have to and also need to. ¿Cuál es una de las, de las, de las uh, key okay, o de las maneras como identificar esta estructura? Recordemos que después del have to, generalmente siempre tenemos que colocar un verbo adicional como verbo principal, ok? Al igual que después de need to, siempre tenemos que colocar otro verbo adicional, ok? Example. I have to take a shower. I take a shower is el extra verb, okay? El que indica la acción después del have. I need to buy a new cell phone, okay? I need to buy a new cell phone. You see? This is buy a new cell phone. That's a verb and complement, okay? Pero ahí... Eh, tenemos que tener cuidado cuando vayamos a escribir oraciones y simplemente coloquemos el need y ya, y un nombre. Ahí ya, 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 no, ya no estaría correcto, ¿ok? Just for you to identify those, those things. Ok, with this conversation we're going to do, uh, we're going to apply the same dynamic. Vamos a aplicar la misma dinámica. Remember that, ¿ok? I'm going to read it. If you have questions, let me know at the end. Si tienen alguna pregunta con relación a, a alguna palabra de la conversación o algo de pronunciación, me lo hacen saber al final de la lectura. The one that we're going to have right now. 
Uh, this is a conversation between Anne and John. Okay, Anne and John. And it says Anne. I mean, John, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? And it says Anne. Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow for tomorrow they were cancelled today they were cancelled today oh that's too bad oh that's too bad and it says john yes I have to provide, yes, I have to provide important information. Okay, important information to some customers. To some customers. And it says, and that sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay, there you go. From here, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a vocabulario de esta conversación? Something that might not be clear for you. What do you say? Mm. Reschedule. Ah, uh, Helmer, you're talking about uh, the line from John where it says, well, I have two, and it says then two meetings. La palabra es reschedule. Yes. Okay, it's reschedule. Reschedule. Very good. Reschedule. Any other one? Uh, hay algo otra más? Any other words that probably you don't... Teacher... Uh, lo... uh -huh, tell me, Joanny. Teacher, lo puedo volver a repetir. Uh, puedo volver a repetir que no le escuché muy bien. Nah, okay, okay. ¿Cómo Let's... te pronuncia? Ok, hagámoslo una vez más entonces antes de irnos a la práctica, ok? Because I want you to practice this one. Ok, let's start from the beginning. It says, John, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? And it says, Anne, yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. And it says, John, yes, I have to provide. Okay. Yes, I have to provide important information. Important information to some customers. To some customers. And then we got, that sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay, good. Si no tenemos ninguna otra palabra uh, por la cual preguntar, ok, what are we going to do like right now? Let's go to practice this for a short period of time, ok? Vamos a dar un par de minutos para poder practicar eh, esta pequeña conversación. Romeo, you got home? Quizás en un grupo de me ve o oh, me quedo pendiente ahí. 
Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you with a group. No problem with that, okay? No problem. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Rosa. Este, ahora sí va a posar. Ahora sí, ¿qué? Ahora sí va a posar. ¿A posar? What am I going to bet? Posar para la captura. <risa> para que ah, no nos baje ey, punto. Ey, ey, es cierto. Me jugaron una mala. <risa> ey, that's true. Ey, no sean así. Fíjense que <risa> le toma, no, tomaron, que que tomaron. Me preguntado por eso. <risa> ah, ok, pero avise, hombre. Tomaron una captura de la conversación <risa> y justamente había la cuadrícula mía. Y en serio, me, me sacaron con una pose. Que, que, y yo así como Excelente que... Excelente para un meme. Was it me? Para un sticker, diga, no, cállese. No, no, no. I don't, wanna, I, wanna, I don't want to roll up on those stickers. Pay per view. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, yeah. yo estaba así como que, hey, ¿quién hizo esto? <ríe> Se iba a bajar para... Les iba. Bueno, o les bajé. Pues. <ríe> Ahí va. <ríe> ya. Yeah. Ok, all right. Now it's different, you see? That's, that's different. Ok, let's see. Uh, I'm going to create the groups then and, and, and let's go to practice. Vamos a practicarla por unos eh, siete minutos, okay? No more than seven minutes. And then we're going to come back in here. Give me a second. Cuando se queda así congelado, le deberían de tomar un screen. Hey, no. Ah, you see? Hmm. Ya, ya ve de dónde sacamos la idea. Exacto, ya sé de dónde sacan las ideas. Ah, vamos a buscar el cuadro de evaluaciones acá, Ana María. Uh -huh. Ah, ahorita ven. Tómale un screen a ella. Ahorita ven. Mire, hágale una... Mire. La manda al grupo. ¿Cómo se rió de mí cuando yo no podía hablar y me hacía hablar y todo? Ah, no, that's different. That's different. Y que role un, un sticker mío, eso es, eso es para siempre. That's forever. No, no, no le van a hacer eso a usted, no le van a hacer eso a usted. Mm. Stephanie, que no lo va a hacer. Ja. Okay. Tan mala me cree. No, Stephanie, no lo va a hacer. Ya ve, ya ve. Si no se va a enojar con nosotros. El... We are 60. <risa> La nada. nata sabe cómo soy, ella sabe que no soy tan cruel. Ajá. Vea mi nota. Ah, peores. Uy. Ok. No, este para mí no mentira, mentira, mejor no pida. Mentira. Ajá, ajá. No, mentiras. No, no me pero sí me ha hecho sticker. Ok, ok. No, pero usted no le va a hacer eso. Ajá. ajá. <ríe> ok, Ana María, I'm gonna move it to number three. Ok, perfecto. Let's go, accept there, and let's enter and practice the conversation, please. Okay? Then I'm going to call you up to come here. Good luck. Hola, hola. Hello, everybody. Ah, yeah, Rosa del Carmen is here. Yeah. Hey, but how about <laughs> Romeo? Are you there? Uh, pues ahorita, todavía vamos de camino, dicho, pero ahí estamos. Okay. Mm. 
Ah, ok, ok. No hay problema, Romeo. Maneje con cuidado. Ok, ok. Ok, perfect. Um, the conversation it should be practiced between uh, you, Rosa, and Eric. Then, okay. Let's 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 put Romeo in, into another thing. Okay. Él todavía va en carretera, entonces he cannot do it. Okay. Inicio con John. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Muy bien. Vamos a hacerlo uh, por un par de minutos. Son las nueve con treinta. Nueve cuarenta. Vamos a volver. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Time you need to do tomorrow. Um, yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings tomorrow for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide import, important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. Teacher, ya vio esa, esa screenshot, mire. Ahí no podía... <laughs> Let's see how, 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 how. Pero ahí no tiene la culpa porque quien, o sea, tomamos el screenshot para ver el. Fue sin querer, sin querer queriendo. Ok, ok. No, pero, <risa> por lo menos no está como el de ayer. <risa> sí, el de ayer sí estaba matado realmente. Hey. Como salí en el de ayer, puya, no. cuando no me conecto. No me ayuda. Era como diciendo, you. <risa> No me, no me ayuda, Stephanie. Vaya. ¿Quién sigue? Démosle nosotros no. dos, Stephanie. Vaya. Okay, let's do it. Eh, les voy a dar a let's see, hasta las 9.40. Luego vamos a volver a la sala principal, ¿ok? Ok, okay teacher. There you go. Bye. Empezamos, Stephanie. Se enojó por la captura. <laughs> for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide import, important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay. Uh, um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I had to rescue two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay. Si gusta cambiamos. Ahora lo sé, John. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call Comenzamos entonces al revés, vea. Yes, yes, and is the some things you need to repeat? And is there something you need to tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to <laughs> Esta palabra. Okay, reschedule. Reschedule. Me Costaba esa palabra, teacher. <risa> sí, 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 cuesta un poquito. To meaning for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to customer. That sounds interesting. Okay. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Okay. 
otra vez. Keep up practicing. Ajá. Que esa palabra reschedule quede finito ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya una vez más, Amirka. Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to show to me for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sound interesting. Hi, teacher. How's up? You said, how's everything? Is everything good? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, let's let's do it once again. In four minutes, we go back, okay, to the to to, to the main room. Okay. Okay, okay perfect. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide import information to some customer. That sounds interesting. 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 Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, Joanny, you did it excellent. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna check. How many times have you checked? Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's continue practicing for three more minutes, and then uh, at nine forty we go back. Okay, we go back. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Mi model. How's the practice? Okay, ya estamos. Ah, Vaya. Okay. Empieza. Va. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Interesting. You did it excellent. That's perfect. <laughs> Almost perfect. Okay, great. How many times have you practiced that? Yes. Ah, no, 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 no. How many times have you practiced that? ¿Cuántas veces lo practicaron ya? Ah, como. Varias. Como seis. Varias, como seis veces. Ah, okay, perfect. Muy bien, entonces vámonos porque vamos a ir a practicarla, okay? Okay. 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 <laughs> Ahí, ahí nos sacó el teacher. Ah, ¿qué pasó? El caray. Eh, el teacher ya no me dejó contar la hazaña. <risa> la araña. A recibir la regañada de la negrita iba cuando usted. La fue... hazaña. <risa> la hazaña que hice hace un, par, hace un año y algo. Ok, cuéntela. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál fue la perdón, hazaña? Perdón, perdón, perdón. ¿La hazaña o hazaña? Ah, la lasaña dice. Ah, 
Correcto. Hey, no para dar ah. hambre, no hable de comida. <risa> es cierto. No, no se lo dice, eh, Natalie, no se lo di, salí corriendo para la pluma. Ay, no, tuvo su valor, la verdad. Ah, sí. Cuente, pues. Que la saltaron, dice. No, es que Natalie me estaba, yo la, por las mañanas hoy estoy corriendo sobre la calle de, de la Evangélica, la Alameda Juan Pablo II. Y entonces me dice, tenga cuidado ahí porque asaltan. Y yo, ah, bueno, pero los zapatos no me los van a robar y la ropa deportiva, ¿verdad? Pero sí, a, asaltan porque hace como más de un año yo estaba esperando el bus y llegaron dos chicos. Yo acababa de meter mi teléfono a la cartera y llegaron. Y me dijeron, dame eso. Y se sacó Nibi cuando salí corriendo. Me dijo, detenete para que el comando <risa> correr, ¿verdad? Ya iba llegando a la casa otra vez. Y salgo corriendo a los vigilantes, ¿verdad? Y le digo, me quieren asaltar, me quieren asaltar, y ya ellos se quedaron ahí conmigo. Pero, Vaya. justo, no, yo no les doy el dinero. Ya, ni dinero. Ni Uy, chica. Pero siempre salí a correr. Sí. Sí, sí ahorita yo retomé para la, para la, todo lo de la, la pandemia, ¿no? Casi un año sin salir a correr. Los muchachos la están esperando ahí. Le ayudan. Pero ella dice Ay, que Dios. tiene un celular nuevo que les quiere enseñar. Dice. Sí, sí, una, una, un, un, un bastón de electroshock. Oh, sí, o uno del spray de ese que los deja ciegos. <risa> un pimienta. Sí. O la van a hacer del grupo de ellos porque las tomadas corren. <risa> Ella está buena para que la metamos al grupo. Nada no, más me imagino a la pobre Ana María. Hey, qué corazón. Y la pobre Ana María hecho, hecha humo ahí. Man. No, pero ahí había gente. Estaban, hay un área donde bien temprano estaban los taxis. No hay tanta gente. Todos echaron el rollo de que lo que me había pasado a mí, después, ¿cómo salió corriendo? Ah, o sea, a plena le... luz del día, roban. Sí, sí. No les importa quién esté ahí, si están viendo o qué. Como nadie se mete. El hijo es like, parece ahí en la María. Dos, un, dos, va diciendo ahí. No sé de qué país hablan, porque aquí en El Salvador... No pasa eso. No pasa eso. Es que eso es ¿no? <risa> Y sale en TikTok Ana María y se marchó. <risa> no, uno de mis jefes de la oficina decía que me había grabado y como yo en la oficina con los zapatos altos, corriendo con tacones, decía yo. Corre, pues, corre. <risa> Cuando es, hora, eso, eh, cuando es hora de terminar el trabajo, cuando, cuando ya le toca la hora de terminar el trabajo y el jefe le habla, Ana María, ¿se puede quedar? Y Ana María. No, ya me voy corriendo. <risa> ya va en el bus, Ana María. Ya en el bus corriendo. <risa> ok, let's start the practice. Ok, that's, that's, that's good. Qué anécdotas. No, qué bueno, es la importancia de salir a correr. That's good. Ya. Yeah. A mí sí me asalta. Yo, yo no me gusta correr dos cuadras cuando ya voy. Tired. Ok. Let's o see. ni le han pedido nada y ya está dando todo. Ya lo está lleva. dando todo. Vaya, ¿qué, nah, ey, ey, ¿Qué pasó? No, todo lo que le pasa. No, no. Teacher, se escucha raro. No, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start the practice. William, chalta, who, chalta. <laughs> William, who do you practice with? Uh, Salvador. Okay, with Salvador. Let's start the practice. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I had to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. I will cancel it today. 
So that's to what? Yes, I had to provide important information to some customers. That's um, interesting. Okay. Okay. That sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. interesting. Okay, very good. Okay, so thank you, Salvador, and thank you, William. Nubia, your turn. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, yo, ¿verdad? <laughs> <Of> <laughs> yo. <laughs> okay, yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They work and sell today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Interesting. Okay, very good. Interesting. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you to you both. Joanny, who do you practice um, with? Con Carla. Okay, let's do it. And is there some time you need to do tomorrow? Something? Yes. To do tomorrow? Okay. Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to rest to two, two, two meeting for tomorrow. There were concerns today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. And thank you, Joanne. You did it excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo, who did you practice with? Uh, Amilcar. Empezó. Uh -huh. Empezó. Uh -huh. Vaya, voy a comenzar. El reto es esa palabra, Amilcar. <laughs> John, uh, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to res, res, reschedule. Reschedule. Lo siento, yeah. tengo que <laughs> <laughs> I have to reschedule. Two meaning for tomorrow. They concert today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds inter interesting. Okay. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Helmer, your turn. With Fatima. Okay, go on. Uh, okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's bad. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Perfect. There you go. Thank you. This is Eric. Mister, who do you work with? With Rosa. Okay, very good. Let's practice. Ready, Rosa? Yes. Okay. And um, is there something? you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? 
where I had to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Very okay. good. Ah, let's see who's missing. Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, I think most of you have already uh, started. <laughs> Who's missing? I think there is there is a pair that is missing. Ah, uh, let's see. Muy bien. Ya, ya participamos todos entonces. Did we participate everybody? Because I have. Es más importante les hace falta. Ah. Persona más importante le hacemos falta y usted no. Hey, that's true. We got three people. Yeah, Natalie, Ana María, and Mrs. Rutia. <laughs> El trío peligro. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Where from? Okay. Hey, no, uh, qué malo. <laughs> okay, uh, Stephanie, I want you to practice with Natalie. And then Natalie will practice with Ana María. <laughs> Ok, ¿quién comienza entonces? ¿Quién empiezo yo? Okay. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They're, they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Now, Natalie, I want you to practice with Ana Maria. Okay, Ana Maria, empiezas tú. Okay. And uh, is there <clears throat> some time uh, you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings tomorrow for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information <clears throat> to some customers. That sounds interesting. 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 Now, okay, very good, very great. So that's the one, uh, uh, right? Uh, that's the cycle that we're gonna finish with those things. Now, let's move on to the workbook or manual as we say it up. Give me a second, I'm gonna stop sharing. Nah, it's not that much today. Give me a second. I need to check what is the one that we are talking about. What time? Then we're gonna have this. Okay, go to page 26 from your manual. Okay, that's the page that we're gonna be working on. Page 26. This is the one, okay? This is the conversation that we were practicing, okay? This is the conversation we were practicing, okay? Practicando. Uh, and we got, okay, and we got a question that it says, what are some of your obligations at your workplace? Okay, uh, we're gonna uh, omit that one because we're gonna uh, start making some exercises from here. Okay, now in here, listen up. We got verbs to express obligation or needs. Then we got the verbs. Okay, we got have to and need to. 
okay? And the activities is that prepare a document for my boss. In este caso, I have to prepare a document for my boss. It's likely similar to I need, okay, to prepare a document for my boss. In este caso, recordemos, ambas, ambas significan algo para expresar obligación, obligation, o de cierta manera también, okay, needs, okay. Yeah, needs. In este caso, needs significa necesidades, okay? I like that. It is acting as a noun. Okay, this is pretty much what we're gonna have, and then we're gonna do, give me a second. Okay, that's great. Okay, give me a second. It got frozen these things. Now, what are we gonna do with this information? Listen up. This is the chart I want we to fill out, okay, before we go. Eh, eh, we're gonna work on this one. Dice, write about something you have to uh, or you need to do these days, okay? Escriba sobre algo que tiene o necesita hacer estos días. Example, when, okay? Give me a second. I'm gonna put the example. When, okay, do you have to okay, and we got and a statement question. When do you have to go out? You see, using what time? What time do you need Okay, those ones are my examples, okay? What time do you need the coffee? Where? Where? Okay. Give me a second. This is the one. All right, let's put it this way. Like this, okay. And in here, in this one, in this one, there is something. Okay, it's something. Okay, what time did you need? To have the coffee. That's the one, okay? The pro was missing. Okay, let's put it this way. So basically, these are mines, okay? These are mines. I want you to do your, uh, I want you to uh, do yours. For example, when? When do you have to go out? What time? What time do you need to have, okay, the coffee? Where? Where do you need to go after class? You see? Okay, those are like the most common questions that we can use with those, those type of things, okay? Uh, let me know when you finish. Just let me know when you finish with those things, okay? With the questions. Teacher, those are two questions we're going to do for, for each one. All right, I did it as an example. Yo las hice como preguntas eh, a modo de ejemplo. La podemos hacer en oraciones afirmativas también, como así. Where? Let's put where as a affirmative statement. Give me a second. Like using where. Cuando. 
Okay, I. I have to go to my house after work, okay? I have to go to my house after work. No necesariamente tiene que ir la palabra where, sino básicamente acá where está diciendo una locación o está preguntando una locación. En este caso, podemos poner una actividad tal como esta. I have to go to my house after work, okay? Tengo que ir a casa después del trabajo, okay? Where do I go? Ah, I go home. You see, those cases we can use. Let me know when you finish, okay? I will give you two minutes for that to finish. Because that's easy for you. Just let me know when you finish, okay? Did you finish? Okay, just let me know when you finish. Finish. Okay, perfect. Yo hice una de cada una, ¿verdad, teacher? Okay, ajá, that's enough. Uh -huh. The first is um, uh, when do you have English classes? Okay. Uh -huh. The second, uh, I need to have my breakfast right now. Okay. Um, um, read the first one, Stephanie. In the first one, I'm pretty curious. When do you have English class? When do you have to go to English to. classes? That would be, recordemos que después de have to, tenemos que colocar un verbo adicional, ¿ok? Para poder complementar. When de mejor do you de have to go? Yeah. English class. Uh, let's put go. Bye. Entonces, eh, aquí donde dice, I need uh, to have, ahí sí está bien, ¿verdad? Yeah. I need to have my breakfast right now. Ah, ok. Y la otra es, I, I have to go to my work. Ok. I have to go to my work. Ok, very good, Stephanie. Thank you. Ok. okay. All right. Listen up. Listen. Because of the time. Because of matter of time, okay? Quiero que, modi quiero que lo hagan bien, eso, okay? Lo hagan bien. Y mañana cuando vengamos, okay? A comenzar la primera, uh, las primeras eh, minutos, los primeros minutos, we're going to read those examples, okay? Eso nos va a servir como feedback for tomorrow, okay? For the topic that we're going to be discussing like right now. Entonces, por motivos de tiempo, I, I, I'm not going to stop that much with you. Los voy a entretener mucho. Eh, I just want to ask, ¿cómo vamos con las tareas? How are we with hungry? Are we okay? No hay ninguna duda. Eh, nothing, nothing, nothing to, 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 to share with. ¿Todo claro? Con las tareas, no la, con la discusión. Yo no las he hecho, pero mañana las voy a hacer. Ok, perfecto. Eh, otra cosa es la sección de discusión. Please, do it, ok. Igual con la, de discusión. Ajá. con la parte de las discusiones, yo ayer estaba buscando el, el tema del lunes, creo que fue. Uh -huh. este, pero no sé si, si nos manda como el, 
el tema, así como hacía al principio, de, de cada discusión para que se nos haga más fácil buscarlo, porque cuando yo traté de buscarlo, aparecen todas las discusiones de todo, o sea, de, de, desde el principio. Entonces Ajá. cuesta ir buscando el, el tema como que de la Ah, discusión. ok, perfect. Voy a mandar entonces Por el favor. nombre. El nombre entonces, ok. No problem. Gracias. De lunes. De este lunes, ¿cierto? Sí. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Entonces ahí lo voy a mandar al grupo. Si no me acuerda, por favor. Vale, pues ahí, I'm very okay. ok, perfecto. Entonces, uh, recordemos, para este próximo viernes tenemos el examen de medio curso, ok, de midterm, el cual lo podemos hacer durante todo el día. No problem about that. Solo que no después de eh, el viernes, please, ok. Uh, on Wednesday, it will be the last, the last day, okay? On when, I mean, on Friday, I mean, that will be the last day. Good. Uh, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Voy a pasar asistencia entonces, and you're going to stay there. Just give me a second. Uh, let's see who's missing. Amilcar Gustavo? Present. There you go. Ana Claribel. Okay, no here. Ana María. Present. Very good. Carlos Eduardo. Present, teacher. Excellent. Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Very good. Eric, ahora nos Hola, tocan teacher. los siete, los diez minutos de feedback, okay? Se me queda. Okay, teacher. There you go. Stephanie Janet. Present. Ok, Fátima Alejandra. Present. Ok, great. Uh, let's see. Helmar Cruz. Present. Ok, great. Jonathan is no here. Carla Benazir. Present. Very good. Uh, let's see, Natalie Vanessa. Present. Excellent. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Very good. Romeo Alexis. Okay, Romeo. Romeo, you there? Okay, he's there. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Excellent. Roxana Yesenia. Is no here. Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Excellent. Stephanie Adeline is no here. Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, William Alberto. Okay, now here. And Joanny Noemi. Present. Okay, perfect. If you don't have any other question related to the topic for today, entonces nos vemos mañana en otra videoconferencia, okay? See you tomorrow and take care. Okay. 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 Bye, bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bye bye. Pórtese bien. <laughs> I know it's impossible. <laughs> ok, Eric. Ok, Eric. Eh, son las 10 con 9. Vamos a tener 10 minutos para poder aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a las clases anteriores. Uh, okay. I don't know, Eric, if you have any question. Eh, bueno, the first question. Eh, Lex, ¿qué le dijo? Lex, Lex, yo. Ajá. Uh, what do you uh, what do you mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Fight hey, si me... God le bless digo... you. Ah, God bless you, le digo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues no, te escuché mal. <laughs> Solo escuché que le dijo let's let you, algo así. Entonces, me quedé <laughs> así. No, no, no. Bless you or God bless you. Ah, okay. Bless you. Ah, yeah, okay. but that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Good, Eric. I don't know if you have any topic uh, that is not that usable for you, or do you have a, a topic that is very difficult for you? 
from here. Um, donde tiendo a veces a, a dudar bastante es en las terceras personas. Mm -hmm. Ahí es donde cuando me toca hacer algo, eh, lo hago, pero dudo. Mm -hmm. Y, lo, y lo, lo escribo y lo vuelvo a ver. Entonces, eso es, eso es lo que, como la, la piedra en el zapato. ¿no? Ajá, ajá. Ok. Es. Ok, al menos en este tema, recordemos. Tenemos have to y tenemos has, has to. to. Uh -huh. Ok. Y en have to, el have to, recordemos, lo usamos para. Equal to. I, you, you. they, uh, we, we, they, they, and the singular nouns. Okay, let's put it this way. They. And then we got has to. Has to. Has to is mostly for. He, she, it, it, we, and they. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm kidding you. It's only it. And also, and also, and also singular nouns. Like, for example, one. Okay. Just to put an example. Okay. That is has to. Okay. Example of them. I have to go to my work by car. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to do the cleaning every Sunday. Okay. That, that, that's an obligation, right? Entonces, ahí estamos expresando qué? Estamos expresando obligación. Obligación. Ya. Yeah. Creo que en este caso con usted no tenemos ningún problema, ¿cierto? ¿Cuál es una no, de las? Okay. ¿Cuál es una de sus obligaciones que vamos a mencionar con have to? I have to give support mm -hmm. uh, to the stores. Mm -hmm. um, I have to I have to check the emails. Uh -huh. I have to repair computers. Okay, very good. That's a good one. Perfect. Uh, that That is, that is in first person, right? Now, let's change it into third person. In third person, remember, we use has to. Okay, has to. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, uh, 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 Alberto has to uh, repair the computer. Okay. Uh, Stephanie has to uh, clean the house. Has to clean the house. Okay, very good. Uh, uh, she has to mm -hmm. uh, do the wash. Do the do the dish, dishes dishes mm -hmm. croquettes. Uh -huh. no. That the dishes. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he has to do the dishes. She has to do the dishes. Okay, very good. All right, perfect. I think we don't have any problem with this one. Al menos con este aspecto, creo que no tenemos ningún problema, ¿cierto, Eric? Cierto, teacher. Okay, very good. Sí. Eh, con los imperativos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos? With the imperatives. From, like the class from yesterday. Eh, no, igual, no, 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 siento, no siento confusión. Okay, very good. You don't feel confused. Sí. Sí, más que todo eso cuando cuando me toca eh, cuando me toca eh, eh, las cuando tengo que ocupar he, she, it, eh, sí, en, en terceras personas, ¿verdad? Allí ah, okay. A veces. Y otra cosa que sí me cuesta y lo cuando es algún audio. Eh, tengo que escucharlo dos o tres veces porque eh, me cuesta diferenciar eso. Entonces, ahí es donde yo quisiera como, no sé si practicar algún ejercicio o algo. Yo lo que hago es que yo me pongo a escuchar eh, música en inglés 
y con, con la letra ¿verdad? en YouTube. Entonces yo pongo el video, veo la letra y trato de seguirla. Pero este, no solamente por leerla, sino que por a veces eh, vuelvo a ver a otro lugar. Ajá. Entonces eso es lo que quisiera, como entrenar el, el oído bien para, porque eso es lo que me cuesta bastante. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's like, in a somehow kind of difficult, but uh, with practice, we can reach that thing, okay? With practice, we can reach it. You have to search for someone that might be close to you and start practicing. En este caso, no sé qué tan eh, conocido sea con Salvador, que puedan practicar también ahí uh, as pairs. Are you co-workers with Salvador? Sí, lo que sucede es que ahorita con Salvador, a mí me han cambiado de... Él es, eh, los dos estamos ahí en CD uh -huh. y a mí me han mandado ahorita por una migración de, de sistema que tengo, tenemos que hacer en todas las sucursales a nivel nacional entonces me han mandado a mí a la oficina del escalón uh -huh. entonces por eso es que yo ahorita no descanso ni fin de semana entonces uh -huh. uh, ya llevo dos fines de semana así entonces y son, está proyectado eso para tres meses y medio uh -huh. entonces Sí. Entonces ahorita no practico. Y aquí con mis hijas, este, estas no me ponen, no me ponen importancia, se ponen a reír, porque como la mayor ya se ha, ha estado en inglés ahí en la nacional, uh -huh, uh -huh. Y, y la ya se graduó de, de adolescente. Uh -huh. y, y la menor está iniciando adolescente. Pero cuando yo uh -huh. trato de hablar con ellas. Esta risa les da. Entonces, <risa> really? Ajá, y, y de repente, ahí vienen aquí, por yo las mando a Chapalé porque vienen, y estoy en clase y vienen. Este, y me dice, put attention, ¿eh? algo así, me dice que pongan atención, <risa> como cuando, y les digo, se las están desquitando, ¿vale? porque cuando a veces ellas están en clase, yo le digo, va, pone atención, pues pone atención. Entonces, ahí vienen, ah, porque pongan atención. Ajá, pay attention, pay attention. Ajá, uh, pay attention. Entonces, oh, la, my God. Eh, no, no, es no, mentira. That case, ajá, en that case, if you have someone to practice, uh, you can even text me or send the questions through audios to my, to my WhatsApp, okay? Hey, no problem. Toda vez que usted quiera practicar, trate de enviarme preguntas, audios al WhatsApp, que yo le pueda inclusive hacer preguntas, y pues usted me las puede ir respondiendo poco a poco, a modo de poder practicar, ¿ok? Solo que ah, esté okay. demasiado sí. ocupado trabajando, probably eh, no le contestaría uh, bien pronto, ¿ok? Eh, Pero no, no, además, it would be good for you to, to, to practice with me, ¿ok? Okay, thank you, encantado de ayudarle ahí. Contarme, escriba ahí o me mande audio. Uh, with something, we can practice, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing, right? Okay, right. <laughs> that's something good. Ajá, entonces, si no, y mantengámonos practicando, porque sí, el uso de las terceras personas eh, eh, es un tanto difícil al principio, pero luego con la práctica usted se va a dar cuenta que es un tanto sencillo. Ok, lo único que hay que aprenderse son las reglas básicas, las reglas especiales, como por ejemplo, cuando usar doble S, X, O, C, H, S, H. Ok, eso, ok, eso acordémonos que se coloca, ok, eh, digamos, con ED cuando es pasado o ES cuando es presente, ok, with ES. Cuando es tercera persona. Salíamos el caso de Miss. Ok, tenemos. Meses. Ok, you see. Teníamos fix. Fixes. Ajá. All right. We had have. Ok, have. Ok, has. You see? Then watch. Watchers. Ok, there you go. So you see. Entonces, estas terminaciones son las que hay, que hay que tratar de memorizarse porque van a ser bastante útiles al momento de poder practicar, ok? To be talking. Right? Ok. Ya, yeah. inclusive, como le digo, pueden mandarme audios o pueden mandarme preguntas, as you want. 
y pues yo inclusive ahí le evalúo la, 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 la pronunciación. Ok, sure. okay, okay. Excelente. Okay. Eh, este, como esto se vio en el módulo 1, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Este, si no es mucho molesto, me pudiera mandar un enlace donde están estas reglas. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. All right. oh, yes. Lo que le voy a hacer es mandarle la presentación. Ok, I will send ah, the presentation. Eh, gracias, gracias. Ok. All right, no okay. problem, man. No problem. Uh -huh. Any other question? No, teacher. Only. Ah, ok. Very good. Entonces, si no hay ninguna otra pregunta adicional, see you tomorrow, Eric, ok? See you tomorrow, teacher. Ok, bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.